Hey, it's Daryl Sims and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. In today's video, I wanna talk about how important it is to know the notes on your fretboard because there are many guitar players, particularly at an intermediate level, that have a desire to learn the notes on the fretboard without really understanding why or what it can be useful for. Many people think that you need to know the notes on the fretboard in order to learn theory. So let's roll the intro and stick two minutes on the clock. Now the first thing I want to do is answer this question myself before explaining anything. And my answer to this question is no, it is not necessary to know the notes across your fretboard in most circumstances. It is important to have a very vague knowledge of the notes on your fretboard, particularly when it comes to finding root notes, but it's definitely not as important that you know which notes are within a specific key. Again, this knowledge is very useful, but generally in most circumstances there are other priorities which you should be worrying about. Now, even more important than learning the notes across the fretboard is the intervals across the fretboard in relevance to the key that you're in. We're gonna start off from the key of C here. It's obviously very important that you know which note, and to help you figure that out, you might know these notes from basic chord shapes. So the first note of your C chord here happens to be a C, and you could use the cage system across the neck to help you find the other root notes, but just keeping it simple now, let's stick to this one here. Now, in order to understand theory to at least an intermediate level, you need to be very comfortable finding your intervals such as your third so you should know that your third always sits here and it always sits up here too and your fifth sits here and up here so those are some basic intervals around this note here. It's very important that you're quite quick and familiar with all of the intervals around the small radius of this note here before moving up the neck to another root note. So if we choose this one here, you'll find the third is in the same place and the third is in the same place up here as well minus that cross on the B string. Everybody should know that when you cross the B string, you have to bring everything up one fret. But again, all of the intervals that you found around this note will be the same around this note. And so will all the note names. So a C and an E are always gonna be a third apart and they're always gonna be in the same position around that root note. However, when you change keys now, if I wanna to change to the key of A, a third is always gonna be in the same position. They're always gonna be right next to each other. However, it's no longer gonna be a C and an E. You'll have to rethink your approach here. Obviously the root note is gonna be an A, but a third up from A, it might take you a moment to think about that. Now I know that a third up from A is a C sharp, and I know that because I've done it enough times and I always at least try to be aware of the notes that surround the root note. But of even more importance than that, and the moral of this video is that it's even more important to know that this is actually a third, the shape here, and that your fifth lies here, and your seventh lays here, your minor seventh is there, your minor six, and so on. Every interval that surrounds this root is very important because you can just transpose that to other keys very easily with the same shapes. One more example that I want to give you and that's if I told you to build me an E major 9. The first thing that you should be thinking is the formula within an E major 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. You don't want to be thinking about the note names in this instance. Now providing you know where your intervals are and you have a vague idea of where your root notes are. So I know this is an E. I know a third is going to be here. I know a fifth is here and major seventh's here, and your nine is here. Now my third and fifth are on the same string here, so I'm gonna have to choose one, and I'm gonna opt for the third because it's a stronger chord tone. And if we put that together, you'll have this shape here. Now when I look at this, I can visualize and see all the intervals crystal clear around this, but if I change this shape to a different key, I can still visualize the intervals, but I need to think for a moment about what the specific notes are around this root note. Those are just a couple examples of why it's more important to learn your intervals over the notes on your fretboard. Learning the notes on your fretboard is important as you progress to a more intermediate advanced theory player, and it's something that will just come naturally as you develop an awareness for your intervals and other theory ideas across the neck. But if you're just getting into theory or you know some basics and you're looking to go forward from here, then learning the notes isn't really something that's gonna benefit you at this moment in time. If you have any of your own thoughts, then please let us know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about some of the theory ideas that I mentioned in this video, then you might want to check out my practical guitar theory course, which is in the description below. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.